guys. I have some of my very dear friends today, Monica and Lucy from We Work Well. How are you, ladies? I'm good. How are you, Alan? Grace. Doing good. So I remember I'm in California. Monica, you're in? Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston and Lucy? I'm up in Connecticut. Okay, so I think we have the, we have the country flanked in any case, right? From So um, it's actually not terrible in California. We've had a four-week lockdown. Um, everything is looking um, up here. It's funny how you fall into this routine. Like, I'm a home worker anyways, but breakfast, workout, three walks with the dogs, work in between. <laughs> everything else and it isn't amazing how work for people from home has sort of become a seven day a week process hasn't it <laughs> sure has. lucy and i have actually worked from home for probably over 15 years now so that is actually not too much of a change for us so um we've been doing this for a while we've been doing our walk and talks for a while but definitely done more of them well <laughs> and as you know i have been on some of your walk and talks yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, and we're trying to get trying to get more of them in. I homeschool three kids at the same time. So oh my yeah. God. <laughs> God bless you, woman. That's all I can say, right? You know, <sighs> um, I'll FaceTime with the kids every day, but uh, they're oh. not living in the uh, living in the house anymore. So I have to tell you guys something that to me is we, we for our listeners they know this. I'm tired of the rabbit hole, so I don't let anyone go down it anymore. Right. So a week ago Monday all of a sudden it felt different. Like people start, people weren't doing the woe is me, the sky is falling. I started hearing that, okay, we're redoing our SOPs. We're putting new cleaning process in place. I've been doing online education with my team. And all of a sudden it's like people kind of woke up and said, all right, that's it. I'm not talking negative anymore. What are you guys hearing? Um, same, same thing, Alan. It's, it's been for us. Um, it feels like forever ago, but it was about probably four weeks ago now since we had to call off our We Work Well Urban event at the Jewel in Dallas. It was heartbreaking to make the decision, uh, but it was definitely something that we needed to do at the time. Um, but, you know, since then, we, it's been kind of a roller coaster uh, emotionally and professionally um, since then, but um, you know, we're, we're sort of coming out of the sad stage of it um, professionally because we needed to pivot, we needed to think forward and what is needed to do. So, you know, to make sure that we can deliver on um, producing good events for our attendees moving forward. We need Wonderful. To Lucy, what are you hearing when you speak with directors and vendors out there? You know, it's, it, it's unbelievable. It's like, it's so inspiring. There's so much energy out there. So many people like change things up and as Monica said, pivoted right away. I mean, we kind of opened up our social media platforms to allow news to be shared. And so we're getting, you know, there's tons of webinars out there, so much education, so much learning. Um, so there's live education going on from many of our skincare vendors, companies. I mean, Hydrofacial just pivoted their manufacturing to produce masks. Oakworks yesterday we heard are now uh, from the medical division producing cheaper FDA approved hospital beds for COVID hospitals. So it's super inspiring to hear, you know, how despite all of the challenges and the sadness and, you know, the shutting of our doors that people have, you know, are, as you said, kind of woken up and, and tried to figure out, okay, how can we support the industry and how can we support our community? Yeah, that is really well said. And frankly, those are the kind of things I'm hearing too. You know, we are, I'm going to say this about our industry, but I'm going to say this about people across the globe in general. We don't stay down. You know, nobody is into defeat here. Like we want to go out and have a cappuccino with our friends and we want to be back to that. And so I think for the most part, people have been really good about minding their yeah. P's and Q's and staying in their own um bubble and as you guys know we've been doing a lot of videos and um i think between the two gals and i on my direct team we've been <laughs> answering about 600 emails a day but don't <laughs> stop sending them it's fine it just means i start at 6 a.m on the west coast <laughs> <I'm not sorry. laughs> you've been you've the virus. yeah no vi <laughs> the only virus i have is that i i 
have to keep my aluminum 26 ounce can handy and filled with water. And of course we can pull lemons off our um, trees and slice up the oh, lemons. Yes. And it's so funny. This is so off the subject, right? If I buy lemons from the store <laughs> and I'm eating them every day, I get like little cold sores in my mouth. But if I have them fresh off the trees, it doesn't seem to bother me at all. So. Remember, Alan, I picked those lemons, too, and brought them all the way back to Connecticut when we were in, in Palm Springs. Yeah, and you should have, and I bet they loved you. I did. Heart. Yeah, they're delicious. Um, <laughs> uh, you guys know, I am in my element at trade shows. I love trade events with a passion, and I know uh, we are going to get back to them um, uh, soon. And so what, what do you guys see up the road? Are we just kind of on hold for the minute until they really say this curve has dropped or what, what's the plan going forward? Well, we are working on our beach side event that's going to take place at the Sea um, Resort and Spa in the Beach in September. Um, so we're working hard on that one. Um, in the meantime, we are also, once we realized that we had to put off the Alice event, we Put our heads together and we started thinking about what can we do in a few months so we can still try to connect our suppliers with the buyers. Um, so we've been working on a virtual platform so we are actually very excited that we are launching We Work Well Virtual. Um, that's going to be an online platform. Uh, we're going to uh, provide pre-scheduled one-on-one -on -one meetings so the vendors can still connect with the key decision makers out in our industry on uh, a virtual platform. Uh, it's gonna be super cool. We're gonna integrate some wellness programs into uh, the event and um, the timeline of it is looking, we're hoping, uh, we're sensitive to the market. Obviously a lot of our attendees are not working right now. Um, so we are keeping our eyes open and ears open. And as soon as we see the light at the end of the tunnel, uh, Lucy and I and the team is ready to launch, so we're hoping um, May, um, maybe early June, that we can launch this one-day event. But Good. We are Monica, I'm, I know you said you're sensitive to the market, and frankly, I think everybody is sensitive to the market. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all uh, realize it, in fact, um, with a number of our uh, vendor partners and other people, even people who are not our partners, we're sending out all their stuff, but sometimes I look at it and I go, mm, you need to have a little empathy in this message. It can't just be the message that says, here's what we're doing until you say, we're all in this leaky rowboat with the broken oar together. So, yeah. right? A little, we're, you gotta feel it from here. It's part of the way uh, we operate. I heard you say, I'm sorry, Monica, we have just a slightly off connection with you, but it's the El Pasea in, in Huntington Beach in September. Lucy, is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah, the Pasea Resort in uh, California. All right, very good. And I, I love that you're doing We Work Well visual, uh, virtual. I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah. I talked to my friend Christina Cabrera down at the Big Waldorf um, the other day here. She's kind of like a daughter to Kathy and I down here. And she said she cleaned every single inch of that massive spa herself in the week since they've been uh, close. She went through inventory. She was looking at where they need to do fill-ins, and so people are planning to reopen. Yeah. And it's good that you're gonna you're gonna get a show, mm -hmm. even if it starts reconnecting people. I just think it's so critical. I'm really yeah. glad, and you're gonna let us know so we can help you do some work with that as well, right? Yeah, we're ready. We're you know we're we're excited about it. We're ready to roll it out. It's ready to go, and um, we want to be sensitive. And um, you know we feel that obviously nothing's gonna ever replace the authentic. Um, one and one connection that we work well gives, but we feel that it's actually a really nice alternative and something that you know could be further developed and, and integrated or even dovetailed to our events in the future. It's a really digital first, very uh, progressive platform that we've developed, really allows people to connect one and one again through having their own individual schedule and a full program that's individual uh, individualized for each attendee is, so we're excited with the platform is there a separate website or do they find it right through the we work well events.com site right it's now we oh go ahead sorry monica yeah, it's going to be by uh, invitation only got it okay so for yeah. this first go around it's going to be exclusively to the vendors that are scheduled to come to our we work well urban in dallas uh, and then also we're hoping to get most of those buyers 
um, on board with us for this virtual event. So wonderful. Um, well, ladies, you know, it, it's always great catching up with you. I hope you invite me on one of your working walks <laughs> again so we can we can talk and walk because I love well, you know, and I live with these little earpieces, right? So I'm 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 uh, walking and talking all the time. Uh, myself. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just talking to myself. I'm not, I don't even have anybody on the phone, but shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> so, Monica Helmstetter, I love you guys. I love everything about We Work Well. I can't wait till we're in person to do it again. Thanks so much. Thank you, Bye, ladies. Stay well.